Oh, it's so nice to open your front door and be greeted by some beautiful Chinese box turtles here having a nibble. Check them out. They're all out and about. This is the perfect time of day. Temperatures are nice and warm. I threw some fluke or food out for them. This is the aquatic turtle diet. The box turtles love it. They are all over the place and things are looking really good out here. Very, very excited. Uh, we've got our large Indian spotted turtle hanging out right there. This is one, I don't know if it's the male or the female, but it is definitely one of the beauties. It's doing its thing, just a late afternoon or early evening bask. But why am I out here? There's always a reason. Always a reason, friends, beyond the fact that I love seeing my critters. Check it out. I was doing a little wandering around, and besides hearing the birds calling as they roost for the evening, I noticed something exciting happening here, and it is one of the Chinese box turtles nesting, and it looks like she is actually covering up her nest. So this is really, really cool. This is um, the first group of eggs that I'll be getting uh, in a very long time. And that kind of was the plan as I moved these guys out here. Um, I wanted to make sure that these guys had um, a large enough enclosure and that it was conducive for them uh, and that's exactly what's going on and it's really really cool now there's all this really nice leaf litter here and who knows how many eggs uh, may be scattered throughout here but I can see right now that this female right here is doing her thing and I wonder if she'll get back to it uh, if we're just a little bit quiet these guys are found in southern China there she goes. They're also found in Taiwan. And uh, really, really awesome as we're seeing her do her thing. Look at her. She's just kind of poking it, just kind of putting it all back together. She's going to tamp it down. So th what that means is the eggs, the eggs have absolutely been laid because this is definitely uh, her covering it up. But you can see how she takes her little feet and tamps it down right there. So that's so awesome. I'm really excited about this because I am definitely going to be pulling these eggs out and we're going to be artificially incubating them inside in my sea serpents incubator and uh, we'll get to that in a moment but right now I just want to let her do her thing. So this is just great news man and that's the fun part about wandering around and walking around the yard because I get to see things as they happen. If you're not present you don't necessarily get to see all the cool things going on. And um, that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that we see everything that is happening out here in the enclosure. Um, little things, like I noticed, I noticed that this liner, because this has eroded, all the soil here has eroded, um, I wound up seeing that this liner was a little low and I was losing a lot of water. It was kind of pouring out here, so I got some stone and I placed it right here, lifted up the liner. I'll get some soil and remound it, okay? What happens is the radiated tortoise get in here and as they nestle down, they kind of helped erode the bank. And so uh, I was wondering why uh, I was losing so much water. Um, and there you go. Again, one of those situations, it's just really good to kind of be out here and to investigate because that's what you're, you're going to notice everything, you know. Here's our radiated tortoise bed down for the night. Um, but I'm really excited about getting our eggs out of the ground. But I like to look around because you never know what else you're going to find in our beautiful aquascape ecosystem front yard that we have here. Uh, look at this. We got Cora. Ambienensis. These guys have been laying eggs. I've been finding those eggs. We get some of the babies there. But I've yet to, I haven't hatched a baby Chinese um, box turtle in quite some time. But you know, this whole thing is great habitat. I mean, this little stream right here would be perfect habitat for a baby turtle. Um, there's so many little nooks and crannies. Uh, and that's why I'm out here right now. Because who knows, it's easy to go undetected here at the camp for a while. Uh, baby turtles are extremely cryptic. They like to hide. That is their job. They basically hatch, if they're lucky enough to hatch, and then what they do is kind of hang out and hide in all kinds of detritus and algae and little weeds. I'm just going to clear this out, throw that out there, and 
keep the flow going, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so we got that, but haven't seen any babies at the moment, but it's still fun to investigate. Very, very cool. So when you create habitat for your turtles, you wanna make sure there's plantings, places for these animals to hide. Um, very important. You're trying to recreate nature here. We've got, of course, the Badiger borneensis, our painted river terrapins. I'm still looking for any signs of, whoop, there's Japanese wood turtle right there. Japanese wood turtle wandering back in. That's awesome. Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there who have helped to create an amazing reptile community online with us. This week's shout out goes to longtime supporter, Brandon Gramley. But uh, it's this time of day. If you really get down on your hands and knees and just kind of wander around and look, you may be surprised by something. So I know for certain we got eggs. I wonder how many. Usually they lay two eggs. So I'd be very happy with two Chinese box turtle eggs. But who knows? Don't know what it's gonna be, but we're gonna find out shortly. Who's over here? Oh, this is kind of a cool area. I did see a Chinese box turtle back here the other night. They seem to like bedding in this. Let's just kind of, they'll dig around. They might have kind of come out of it because they're looking for some of the food which I have. Oh, there you go, look at this. Look at that. Can you guys see this? That's how amazing these guys are. Okay, look at that. So this tortoise, or rather turtle, has just kind of hit itself in this microclimate. And that's what box turtles of all species like to do. They like to find uh, mulch piles, leaf piles, hide in them, and they can just kind of chill out. Now, here's another, another Geoclemys Hamiltoni, and that is the Indian spotted turtle, just hanging out in the biofalls. See, even the biofalls become habitat for our turtles. And it's really, really cool. I love this. Look at that. And there's such a strong flow. But the turtles love it. So they're hanging out in there. We've got our Chinese box turtle hanging out right here. So just think about it. If there are any juveniles in here, or hatchlings, they're gonna be very difficult to find. And that's awesome. Because what'll happen is, one day I'll just count. We have more turtles than originally put in here. So that's okay by me. But you can see where the turtles kind of dig through. They kind of dig into the mulch. Very cool, but you never know. I might find some eggs up here. These are all really cool spots for turtles to lay. Because if they lay up high, the babies go down and usually down is where the water is. So good stuff. Up oh, here's the male chasing a female around. It's a spotted turtle. One of the large males is chasing a female around for breeding. So we'll be getting eggs from our Hamiltoni. Look at that. Here's the male. Gentle nips. He's going to get her to kind of hang out and then he'll breed her. This is so cool. Now, of course, he's got to chase her around. But there's all this life happening, friends. You can see the head swaying. We look in on him. You can see he's definitely trying to do some kind of courting here. But my goodness, like I said, when you build these habitats for the animals, they're going to use them and they're going to be doing everything they're supposed to do. Looks like a tortoise might have knocked down some of our rock over here. Let's clear out some of this. This is also, as you guys know, a spot where I sometimes find baby turtles because it's a really cool little area. A lot of the food gets sucked over here, so the babies will come over here and have a nibble. But I just like to clear it out of any leaf litter and stuff like that. Hey, look, it's my, my little baby turtle herself. It's Sophia. She's always finding stuff. So we got, we have a, um, Chinese box turtle laying eggs at the moment. The one I've no, it's a different one. That's an Asian box turtle. Oh. Well, this is the Chinese box turtle, so I'm really excited about that. But I see someone over here I want to have a look at. 
Yep, this is an Asian box turtle kind of hiding out right there. But let's go back. I just was kind of looking around to see if um, I could see anything else happening. So we got all these little holes, little test nests. See all that? It looks like the animals are out testing. So once I realize that one turtle is laying eggs, that means the season must be upon us. You know what I mean? Where's it laying? It's laying under this bush over here. Let's go. She was covering them. So I don't know how, you see her? She's kind of doing a thing. Now the thing is, with these gals, is they get into this kind of trance. So being that we're gonna to wanna to get inside, I gently just move her like this, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is just gently move back some of the soil. And you oh, can see, one. there's an egg. So let's see, here's one. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And here's two. She laid two eggs like I thought. Let's see. Oh, there's one right there. There's another one? Holy smokes. Three? Three eggs. Guys, that's so cool. Look, now I put this back, right? And then I just gently take her back. And she'll better. finish. She'll finish doing it. Let's go get these eggs set up, guys. They were just laid. Three eggs. That's so cool. Here, Soph. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Look at that. Three beautiful uh, elliptical eggs. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head inside. Now, by the way, my office is blown up. Um, I recently. Are oh, you getting out? You staying out there? Yeah. Well, I see you, kid. So anyway, we're going to go inside, where uh, my office is a little sketchy. So please don't judge me. But um, we're going to go get these uh, get these guys dialed, and we're going to put them in a. Uh, separate container because I want to control their humidity a little bit differently. All right, so that's what we got to do. There's, there's my wife right there. We haven't seen her in a while. Hi, honey. What are you up to? We got baby Chinese turtle eggs. Chinese. She's in her PJs. You're not allowed to see that. All right. What I need to do very simply is we're going to actually use these deli cups. Okay, and we're gonna set the eggs up inside there. Um, so as you see, I was, just got back from a trip. We got bike stuff everywhere. We got computer stuff everywhere. We got baby tortoises in here. You know, everything's just going on. We got the lights turning on. Takes up a little while for them to get bright. Oh, actually, here's what I'm gonna use. This is a cool little, we're gonna put this down. These eggs are not, um, they're not developed yet, but look at this. So how about this? We've got this really cool box that my friends at Redline Reptile Shipping and Reptile uh, Redline Science do. So I think that'll be neat. See that? So I'm going to fill this up with some... Um, we're going to go get some of the Paralyte. And then I don't... Th you know what I'll do? I'm going to take some of this sphagnum moss too. We're going to use this. We're going to take some sphagnum. And we're going to put it on top of that. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. So let me, go, uh, let me go mix that up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our little box, and I put vermiculite in it, not perlite. So this is the vermiculite. We've uh, moistened it, and I've patted it down. And what I want to do next is I'm going to just gently place one. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not that big, is it? What if I did it this way? We got one, two, and then we get the third one right there. Very good. And then I've moistened, but squeezed out the excess water. And we're just going to gently place some of this sphagnum moss right in there. Okay? Pack it down. Just kind of get some in there just to surround the eggs in some nice sphagnum. All right, just like that. And now I feel very good about this situation here. So we got that, and now we're just gonna take our lid, snap it down. Now you can use deli cups. I would poke some holes in the sides for some ventilation, okay? And that's exactly what this has. It's got some ventilation holes on the side. See that? And there's some moisture right there. You can kind of see it. So now we've got a good situation. I'll vacuum here in a little bit because I definitely have to clean this up. Um, but yeah, man. 
Now we're gonna go into our container, our awesome box. And uh, I can either just place them right here or I can put them in one of the larger containers. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. This one's got some, it, we're, that's a suspended incubation chamber. Being that these guys are semi-aquatic, these eggs here, I wasn't sure they were gonna hatch, so I'm not really stressing on them. But we'll go ahead and place these guys right here. And if I wanted, I can pop this little thing off, okay? And I can add water right there as needed. But now we have a really nice, safe incubating area that's got humidity. As that water evaporates, of course, uh, it'll help out those eggs. You can kind of see right here is some condensation there, which is really good. That, that's how I know that we've got, we've got some good moisture in there. Is anybody coming out of there? No. Uh, no one was hatching yesterday, and you'll notice there's some dust in here. I used diatomaceous earth to kind of mitigate against some of the uh, gnats that show up, which I see right here. Uh, there's a spider. That's always good, but uh, yeah. Sometimes you get these gnats, which is a pain in the neck. But we got a bunch of redfoot eggs last night. I got 35 redfoot eggs out of the ground last night. There they are. So that's awesome. Let's just move this. Just saying hello to everybody here. This is kind of, oh yeah, that's, see this is, this is a problem from time to time. You'll get a rotten egg. These eggs don't look good. So uh, I'm gonna pull these eggs out of the incubator. And you can just see the sweat on some of them. That's no good for sure. That's no good, no good. But the rest look okay. But uh, unfortunately, sometimes I give it a shake. We're gonna leave this out and uh, get rid of those because uh, they're gonna start to smell and that's no bueno. Let's use one of these cups actually. We'll get rid of this moss and get rid of these eggs. Ugh, they're slimy eggs. And they're gonna start stinking. And that's what attracts Unfortunately, the, uh, oh, that's no good. Bummer. But it happens. Yep, I can feel. Sometimes I shake and you can hear like the uh, slush, the sloshing of the uh, dead egg in there. So let's just go ahead and put this back in. And I also have an insecticide that I throw in there and kill the rest of the gnats. Because believe it or not, the gnats suck. They uh, bother me. But uh, yeah, everyone else is good. We're gonna have, go ahead and get rid of those. Toss those in the garbage. And then we're gonna go back out and check on our female. Now the thing, we don't want this to fall out. Uh, we definitely don't want eggs to fall in the house. We don't like smelly eggs to crack in the house, do we? No. Not, not at all. So we're out of here. And let's go check and see if that female is uh, still doing her business as far as getting those eggs buried. Yeah, see, one-handed, I get it all done. No nah, problem. What fun times with the turtles. We'll just toss these in the garbage. And uh, let's go see what she's doing. Where is she? All right, we're back at it. Yep, she's done. Very good. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Just kind of wandering away. So three eggs from this gal right here. Good job, mama. Good job. You did awesome. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you again. Go get some food if you're hungry. How sweet. That is amazing. So hopefully those eggs are fertile and I do have a male in here. So very possible they are. But uh, how about that for turtle habitat and tortoise habitat, everyone? What a beautiful evening. Even more beautiful because we have potentially new life happening right now. All right, that's it. Thanks for joining me today. I always appreciate you guys hanging out. Don't forget to go to patreon.com slash and if you want to see another full-length video every Tuesday. So go check it out. You'll see more turtles. Look at that. Look at all these guys. There they go. They cleaned up everything, man. You guys are great. By the way, that's the male. There's our male. The long tail. 
and he's got all these pretty, uh oh, let's get her out of there. Get out of here, young lady. All right, we'll just take this and hold it up that way. I think that's better. All right, everyone, thanks again. See you soon.